Hello, everybody. Welcome, Welcome back to another, another episode, episode of Where, Where Is This Going? going? A, a podcast, podcast about, about artists. artists you may not know yet, but hopefully will soon grow to uh, at least appreciate in the very end. Um, Welcome back. If this, if you're coming back, if this is your first time listening, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe. Uh, follow us on Spotify. Subscribe on Apple. Wherever you listen to us, wherever you watch us, just subscribe to it, please. I would really appreciate that. I am your host, Hunter Miles. You can follow me on all the social meds. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the underscore Hunter Miles. You can follow me on TikTok hunter miles comedy and you can check out the podcast on instagram at where is this going pod and on twitter where is this gopo send us an email if you got some content you want to share with the show something you want to say about the show want to express something uh you can hit us up in all the dms but also send us an email where is this going pod at gmail.com we will be coming out with a clips playlist soon um we are uh, in the works of clipping uh, putting some clips together of our past episodes because we know uh, that if we're constantly posting, it'll just bring more traction or whatever. But also, um, there's been a lot of smaller funny moments that I think get lost in the uh, long form that is podcasting. So if we could showcase some of those moments, maybe uh, people will be more enticed to watch the full episode or what have you. Also, yeah, I, it, no guests this week. It's just me. Um and the podcast is late. Uh, sorry, you might have noticed that there was not an episode uh, because I was on the road. Uh, I was uh, working for, or I was on the road for work. Um, got to visit some cool scenes, though. Uh, Rochester comedy, or yeah, I did. That was a f- uh, not this past tour, but I was down in West Virginia. Got to go to Morgantown, West Virginia. That was a fun time. Uh, great scene. Um, Got to go to Philly. Uh, Philadelphia has an amazing comedy scene. Um, I've I literally that was the first thing I shared with anyone from my travels was just how hilarious the comics in Philly are. So uh, if you're, I doubt you're listening to me in Philadelphia, but if you are, uh, go see some of those shows. Um, and obviously, there's great uh, comedy clubs in Philadelphia, you know. But the the scene, the local scene in Philadelphia is so strong and so hilarious. I uh, got to go down to Fayetteville, did some comedy down there. A uh, bunch of funny comedians down in North and South Carolina as well. Uh, so, yeah, got to visit some local scenes of some different places. And it was it was a nice, fun time. Got to hang out. It was cool. I, uh, ooh, I, I stayed for a few days in... Um, now why am I completely blanking? It was a really fun time in uh I did a couple of open mics. Where the hell was I? <laughs> well, it was it was still South Carolina, I'm pretty sure. Or North Carolina. Oh, Raleigh, duh. Raleigh, North Carolina has also a very hilarious uh group of comedians down there. A lot of uh newer people to the scene or to comedy in general. Uh, but very funny comedians down there, too. Um, so shout out the Raleigh comedy scene, Philadelphia, uh, Fayetteville, Morgantown. Bunch of funny comics. Um, but I'm back. Uh, and if, you, if you're watching and you can see maybe some uh, stress acne on my face, that always happens when I get back from the road because it's always a uh, stressful, very stressful time. Um, but I made it back once again. Uh, after servicing the community colleges of America with uh, entertainment, it was fun. Uh, not not so much comedy, but some. Um, so it was a good time. Uh, coming back, uh, got some shows this weekend. I don't know when this episode is coming out. If it's coming out tomorrow morning, maybe, depending on when you watch this, uh, you might have already seen me on the news. I'll be on the news. I'll be on Fox 17 Thursday morning, uh, maybe after this comes out maybe after you've watched this or before who knows but um we're going to be prom- we're promoting art battle uh, uh my girlfriend sarah and i are uh doing an interview maybe just me i'm not sure <laughs> um but we're going to be doing an interview just uh talking about our grand rapids art battle which you can still get your tickets to it is this saturday november 19th um 
tickets and links are available on my uh, link tree and all that. Um, also, if you want a promo code to get a, a cheaper ticket, let me know. I can get you a cheaper ticket as well. Um, also, this week I'll be performing Thursday night. I'll be featuring for Jeff Leeson over at the Detroit House of Comedy. Friday, I'll be at Three Gatos in Wyoming, uh, Grand Rapids area, um, with uh, some very funny comedians. Uh, Brianna Blackburn put that together, so go check that out. Uh, link to that also in my link tree. And then um, next Tuesday, I'll be at Park Theater uh, doing their open mic, uh, trying to get a new 15 minutes together um, or compile <laughs> uh, 15 minutes of uh, some good new newer material before uh, we go into the weekend with um, Annie Letterman and then uh, Ryan Sickler the next week. So, got a good couple of weeks coming ahead. Hopefully, uh, I'll keep you updated on those if anything changes. Um, who knows? Maybe things, things might change. Who cares? We just roll with the punches. Um, yeah, some, some people can change, all right? And I think it's important the baby knows that. The baby should know that people can change. I used to be an asshole. Not anymore. But So, I forgot my notebook, so I don't have the, uh, it, I didn't forget, it's just in my car. And I'm not going to go get it, because I got this format down. Um, talk to, talking a little bit about my last few sets. Like I said, uh, Philadelphia was actually one of the first scenes uh, outside of my own to make me feel like outside of like Michigan comedy to actually make me feel a little bit intimidated uh, just because they, it was a lot of funny people, a ton of funny people. Um, so, yeah, it was a little bit intimidating. I think I did all right. Um, still working out some new bits uh, that I'm, I'm trying to make the road profitable for me when it comes to material. So because I'm not able to get up every night like I would be here and writing and stuff like that. Uh, so I have to carve out, um, you know, writing time from my norm instead of my normal, you know, routine writing times, whatever. Uh, so anyways, com coming up with new material and writing and stuff on the road is tougher for me. So I'm trying to uh, make it less tough. I guess by just doing it more or doing it better. But yeah, and then I got home. Uh, I got home at like uh, four in the morning. And, um, got to uh, got to do tip top last night, which was a fun time because it was a f it was a full crowd, like a full room. It was a hell of a time. But there was uh, early on just a lady who wouldn't shut up, and I handled it very well. You know why? I didn't just start with shut the fuck up, which I think we've we've showcased in the past on this podcast. It's not the way to handle it. Um, I was very polite for mo for the majority of inter her interruptions, uh, was able to make make fun of it and her without uh, people without turning the crowd. Um, and then uh, after I, I had kind of gotten the gist of her interaction, uh, I was talking about the bar, and immediately the bartender um, <laughs> started yelling to the stage. But they were from the ge same general direction. So if you're sitting in the middle of the crowd, you don't know. You just think it's the same lady who's been yelling. So someone yelled, shut up. Uh, the bartender yelled, who, do you, who are you? And then I was like, you know what? This seems to be about the end of my set. I'm going <laughs> to, before any more hostility grows in here, I'm going to get out. Uh, but it was a good time. Thank you again, Alex. Uh, shout out Alex Blakowski, the host of Tip Top every Tuesday if you're in Grand Rapids. So over there on the west side, uh, Tip Top Deluxe Comedy uh, Show. It's beautiful. Starts at 9. Uh, and also, you can catch Parrots every Thursday. Um, Thursday night, 9.30. I haven't been there. I haven't been hosting almost. I mean, it, it will be the whole month of uh, November. I haven't been there just because of work. Um, and then, uh, right before I left, I got, uh, asked to do this, uh, Jeff Leeson show this Thursday. So if you're in Detroit, come see me 
at the Detroit House of Comedy with Jeff Leeson. But if you're in Holland or in Grand Rapids, you go to Parrot's Lounge uh, every Thursday night at 9.30, and I'll be back in December uh, to start hosting there again. Um, maybe uh, the first week of December, but if not, I'll be there the rest of December. Uh, but yeah, also I... Um, Hey, we, we, week's, week's been fun. Uh, like I said, getting back from the ro- getting back off the road is a huge relief. Um, but it's just a weird adjustment period to from being in hotels every night and stuff and just finally get, catching up on some rest, especially when I had like long days of driving. So um, I, I really wanted to get back in the studio and just put something out for you guys. We will have uh, a, a host. Uh, a host here, or a host, a guest, I mean. Um, are you, is there a cat now in the studio? Is there a hairball going on back there? Yeah, All right, cool. Um, uh, we will have a guest with uh, with us for our next episode. It will be Mr. Kyle Aris. I believe that will be the next guest coming out. Uh, Mr. Kyle Aris, uh, you guys know, um, a host of the still available, I believe, still available Obscured State podcast. But... Um, I think he's he's since put the podcast down and done more of the uh, of the like urban exploring um, ty- those types of videos and uh, camping excursions things like that camping videos and uh, just video production in general Arturo um, no Arcuro Akiro I probably should have remembered first but he'll we'll, he'll be here to talk about it uh, I think it's Akuro. Um, productions he uh came and filmed one of my sets for uh my feature weekend with jessica Curson, uh, which i'm very happy for if you follow me on tiktok uh, you've seen some of his footage um if you follow me so please go follow me on tiktok follow me on facebook too uh my facebook page hunter miles comedy uh has been doing pretty de- gaining some decent tra- traffic um my grandma actually just yesterday said that uh she had a co-worker who had received a video from her uh, cousin who had received a video from uh, their friend who received a video from their significant other or whatever. And then it was a video of one of my sets, um, which was like, oh, cool. Just like coming down the chain was uh, and somehow getting back to my grandma was cool. It was funny to me. Um, and then just last night someone had said, uh, there's like four or five people at the Cura who are asking about a local comedian, um, and the, I'm the only local Holland comedian, so, uh, basically. I'd, you, feel free to speak up, but if you know any other comedians from Holland, um, shit, I, can, I can't I can think of any that claim Holland as the hometown, right? because who would? Who would want to? Uh, I get it. Holland is a shitty little cool place, but um, <laughs> I didn't choose it. But anyways, it's cool to know that people are finally seeing my comedy and stuff. It's awesome. That's what we. That's why I do this for uh, you know, to, so people can see see my comedy, see me live. Um, and I I I want to thank you guys. Uh, those of the podcast who support, I know we get like 40, uh, 35, 40 views a week, at least on YouTube. Uh, I don't know how long you guys stick around for, but we appreciate you checking the videos out at least. Um, I really do appreciate any, any, any one of you guys, uh, who come and listen to this podcast, not just guys, but I mean, that's the majority of our demographic, but, um, (laughs) we appreciate all of the listeners uh ladies, babies and gents, uh, uh thank you. This gonna, this podcast is going to continue to get better uh, and it's only because of uh people actually listening to it and telling me that they like it. Um shout out Cole who sent me a message this week. Appreciate you. Uh and I appreciate all messages from you if you're talking to me about the podcast or if you're talking to me about comedy. I appreciate that. If, if it's in a positive light, uh, for the most part, I appreciate that. And also, if it's in a negative light, I don't care, dude. 
uh, put me out there. <laughs> Talk about me. Um, I'll take all I can get for now. I'm just kidding. Don't don't be mean. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you. We I I do kind of want to share some uh, share some whatever. Can you is will my phone be silenced until I find it or no? All right, that's fine. Um, yeah, cool. I, uh, <laughs> I, I've been hesitant to share more, uh, TikToks and reels, uh, with you guys just because I know that not everyone shares the, uh, same humor, not to say that that's a bad thing at all, but I, I will tell you it's, it's been interesting. Oh no, we're already there. <laughs> um, but no, I am going to do it. I'm going to do the returning, uh, a returning guest, um, <laughs> guest. I wish I want to get him on the pod. Uh, there's, um, there, there was, was some question last time. time. Uh, I, think, I think I can't, I can't remember, remember who had, had him on or who was, was the guest, guest when, uh, when, when we, we were trying, trying to investigate, investigate further, further on this profile. profile. But, but the, the, where, where we, we originally got, got the video, video was, was from, from, um, like, like someone, someone who just, just it was from, from like a meme page, page basically, basically that they just shared, shared videos, videos or whatever, whatever all the time, time. Never, never their own, own. But, but we finally found uh we finally found, found, found his profile, profile. and uh, uh so oh now, now i don't yeah, yeah okay. okay you guys, you guys know, know i smoke weed, weed right uh, uh we can, can we is just referred to by um many, many different terms now especially because of the internet uh and, and people, people trying, trying to hit the algorithm. The algorithm, the algorithm frowns, frowns upon certain, certain uses or, or phrases, um, especially, especially pertaining to uh, drug or sex, sex like like pornography, pornography um, things, things like, like that. that. I, I, I think one, one of, of my favorite, favorite innovations of that has, has just been uh, what people use in, in place, place of weed, weed or, or marijuana. marijuana. Zaza, Zaza is, is a newer, newer one. one. I, I think, think it came, came from the East Coast. Coast. I don't know for sure. Um, I, don't I don't know, know the, what is it, epidemiology? Is that it? I don't know. No. no. <laughs> what, what am, am I, I trying, trying to say? say? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't I don't know either. either. I, I, I had, had it before. before. How, how words develop. How, how phrase, where the, the phrase came, came from. from. Jeez. Someone sound off in the comments if you know what word I'm trying to say. I'll figure it out in like 35 minutes. But um, anyways, Zaza is just a funny phrase to me. And you know what? I'll just let this next one uh, speak for, for itself. itself. You ready, Jackie? Jackie? Yeah. Cool. cool. Yes. yes. Uh, he is back, and we found his actual profile. Shout out, uh, Ryan Trout. One, um, this man is very funny, very hilarious, and he knows it. He also, um, is very aware, just self aware. He's he's autistic, um, and watching his videos has been awesome because I know that when he makes one video, he knows that people might not relate to it. So he makes almost the same video, but just from a, a slightly different standpoint. And that's really just being, that's, it's a mindfulness. Knowing, being self-aware and knowing, hey, I know this one might've come off the wrong way uh, if it wasn't for, or if it wasn't, oh, I can't even find it. Let me, Let me see. see. Um, um, Ooh, like, like hey, hey, I know, I know not, not everyone um, has, has a girlfriend. girlfriend. Some, Some people have a boyfriend, boyfriend. So, so let, let me make a video, video for, for both, both of them. them. You know what I mean? Um, um, you're, or, or you, you know, know he, he goes, goes yeah. yeah. When, when I, I see, see my friend getting, getting back together, together with their ex, or when, when I see one of the bros getting back together with their ex, or when I see my sibling getting back together with their ex. Those, those are three, three completely, completely different scenarios, scenarios that you might, might not identify, identify with one, one of those. But let's, let's see what uh, the siblings get back together. together. What the fuck? I thought that you broke up with your ex for a reason. 
relatable. Oh. Yes, yeah, same. same. Exactly. So, so obviously, obviously his, his sentiment, sentiment remains, remains the same. same. So, so his, 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 his genuine, genuine reaction, reaction is always, always going to be the same. same. But, but he understands that this can come in, diff in many different scenarios. Um, and also, uh, he relates genuinely... Uh, to the general public, uh, he's a mental health advocate, I guess what is what I'm trying to say. And he just just relatable content. Again, Again we've, we've all, all been, been there. there. Uh, and if you struggle, um, can we put the hotline on? No. no. All right. Um, <laughs> can we put the hotline on? If you're, if you're struggling, struggling with, with your, your mental, mental illness, illness um, um, whatever it may be, uh, if you're feeling like shit, God fucking damn it. Are you kidding me right now? Um, <laughs> we thank you, Ryan Trout, for your service. Um, also, if you want to update on the leg dab guy, uh, yes, all of his content is leg dabs. He does double leg dabs. He'll do a 180 leg dab, which has actually been my favorite to see. He does a good spin. Also, he does a good shimmy. And uh, they're called stomach jumps. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, I'm not showcasing it on this episode. So you're going to have to go back and find it on another episode or check back with us uh, on next week's episode. Um, we're going we're gonna to get it wrapped up here quick. Um, I'm not going to do, go too long. How long have we done? 22. 22? Awesome. We'll bang out a 25-er. Uh, I do want to... I'm pitching a new bit with you, Jackie. Uh, it's it's about hotel security, which already seems like, a, what's it called, an oxymoron. Because um, hotels used to meet... In, in my head, hotels used to be like one of the safest places you could be. Uh when you're traveling and stuff on the road, like, yeah, let me, st I could stop at a campground or something or like a truck stop, sleep overnight in my car or like a Walmart or something. <laughs> but, and, and then obviously it goes motels and then hotels. Motels are, have, are notoriously just gross and just low budget or like, if you're a, a, divo a divorced father, you're, stay you're staying in a motel for an extended period of time. Um, <laughs> extended st any extended stay place is, yeah, it's, you're, you're, you're expecting it to be nasty. Um, but secure, meaning, I don't know. Re I really don't know. Like, when you're staying in a motel, you expect it to be like, I have a key to this place. And the locks work. Somebody may break into my shit outside, but whatever. Like, break into my car. Um, obviously, this is just a... Now it's just a loose premise. This is just what I was thinking about on the road. Uh, but, like, even at, like, actual hotels... At hotels? Hotels. Uh, I expect to be more secure. Just because there's a front desk, people usually have to check in. And normally, every other entrance to that building is locked. You can't get in without a key card or whatever, what, what have you. Almost every single hotel on my past two week, on my last two week trip, almost every single hotel, either one of those doors was regularly malfunctioning so they just propped it open or they just didn't work at all meaning the electric box <laughs> like that has like the lock on it the electronic lock is ripped off the wall it just exposed wire now also who what are you doing with that like are you is someone stealing that selling that who are you selling that to um so, uh, 
the the security part on the outer perimeters just seems flawed, obviously. Uh, and so you just have to rely on no one getting into your room. Which you would think is, yeah, well, there, there's many a locks. Also, TikTok, quit showing people how to break into hotel rooms. That's the weirdest shit. I get, I get paranoid now by, um, you know, that swing latch. TikTok is showing people how to break in through the, like, how to dis, uh, disengage that lock with a rubber band and duct tape. I've said too much already. <laughs> Strike that from the record. I think I already gave them all of the. <laughs> I already gave them all of the uh, tools they needed, but um, oh yeah, no, I get it, I get it. Uh, yeah, the t the TikTok thing I'm referring to is just like never, tr never trust um, just the hotel lo those hotel locks or whatever. Um, but also, they they would have to have a key first, so. Like in a hotel room, theoretically, uh, you would have to have a key card to open that. And then you realize that the the door like latch lock thing is keeping the door closed. Like the, here's what's happened to me so many times. I don't know what the correct response is to knock, knock, knock housekeeping. If I'm just laying in bed. Do I say no, thank you? Because I've said that multiple times, and they still open the door and then go, oh, sorry. If I'm dressed, I'll meet them. I I understand. Sometimes hotels don't have it, though. The do not disturb thing. Yeah, I usually do put that out. Uh, it has been blown off of the door because I had, like, an outside-facing room. Right, and they do it like two and a half, three hours before checkout too. Makes no sense. Exactly, I'm trying to get some rest in, or like I'd be in the shower and I hear hear them banging on the door. I'm like, do you? What do you, what am I supposed to do? Um, but yeah, because of that, I've I've had people, I've had yeah, hotel workers open the door while I've been in bed or at least in the or doing something and the last time was uh me just getting out of the shower and i heard a lady knocking yelling housekeeping i said no thanks <laughs> she didn't get it i said housekeeping or she can't hear me in which case if you can't hear me talk through the other side of the door why are you talking through the door at all I don't know what the solution is to that. But then if you're going to open the door anyways, then just start with opening the door. It, mine's always locked and they never, they, yeah, mine's always locked. And so multiple times I've had the door opened and then, oh, sorry. There was one time an older Indian man who was doing renovations on the building, on the hotel, uh, I hadn't gotten a chance even to put the lock on. I was just getting settled into my room a little bit. And this is what reminded me I didn't set the lock. That he just walked into my room. He got a like an eerie amount of like he got an alarming <laughs> uh distance into my room before he was like, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, Yeah. I don't know how to respond in those moments. My security has been compromised. Um, so anyways, it's not a bit. It was really just a talking point. And um, I got to realize what's for the podcast. And that was definitely a, a podcast uh, conversation and not so much uh, maybe a stage thing. Um, well, maybe we'll get there. Maybe we'll get there. Uh, again, if you want to see me live, do so this weekend and next weekend and the weekend after that. Uh, December 7th, I will be at, or um, let me make sure. December, yes, December 7th, I will be at uh, Puck's Cider House. 
uh, in Grand Rapids with Fresh Ghost um, Comedy. And on, um, uh, well, this week. This week, Thursday, I'll be in Detroit uh, with Jeff Leeson. And, um, geez, what was I looking for now? Sorry. Clean read. This Thursday, I'll be in Detroit. Uh, this is Thursday, the 17th. I'll be in Detroit featuring uh, for Jeff Leeson at the Detroit House of Comedy. Um, see me there. Uh, tickets are available in my link tree. This Friday, I'll be at Three Gatos. Uh, it's a free show. Uh, you can find out all the information. There's a Facebook event page uh, also available in my link tree. And, excuse me, Saturday, the 19th, get your tickets for Art Battle Grand Rapids. Uh, it's going to be an awesome event. It's going to be 12 painters, artists uh, going head to head, painting head to head, two rounds uh, leading to a third final round. And the winner of this contest will be going to compete in Chicago for the regional uh, art battle. So it's going to be awesome. I'll be the MC. Uh, it's an awesome playlist playing too. We got music, uh, not live music, but cool music. Um, but yeah, it's going to be awesome. Tickets uh, are like 15 bucks, but you can see me uh, for promo code for cheaper tickets. Um, but yes, December. Uh, so that's this weekend. Then uh, December, or geez, November 29th, Tuesday, I'll be at Park Theater uh, running some new jokes, uh, 15 minute set. Um, then the that Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, or yeah, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I should be with Annie Letterman uh, at Park Theater, and then the next week, uh, Puck Cider House on the seventh, Ryan Sickler on the eighth and ninth. Uh, I don't know if I'll be uh, featuring or hosting, um, but we'll see. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys at those dates and uh, any other live shows. Uh, here in the area. I hope to see you guys. Thank you so much for following the podcast. Uh, subscribe, share, follow me on TikTok, please. I'm trying to make those numbers go up. You know, I've been reluctant to the whole thing. Um, and yeah, check out the Facebook thing. I'm trying to make some money on there. So Facebook, Hunter Miles Comedy, uh, the underscore Hunter Miles on Instagram and Twitter and Hunter Miles Comedy on TikTok. Uh, thank you. Goodbye.